Well, Chelsea Peterson is set to be released on a $100,000 bond with conditions, but the idea of Peterson walking free until his next court appearance is troubling the Marshallese community. Uh, it's, it's almost like a slap in the face. Melissa Leland is the executive director of Arkansas Coalition of Marshallese. It's important for us to be here today because our community uh, have, need to have a voice in this. She and her staff were just some of the nearly 40 people who packed the courtroom at the John Paul Hammerschmidt Federal Building as Paul Peterson faced a federal judge. Monday, Peterson pleaded not guilty to the 19 federal charges he's facing in Arkansas, all stemming from an alleged adoption scheme he ran, bringing Marshallese women to the states and selling their babies. If you look at the court record, over 80% of those cases are of Marshallese children. Guys, we do have an issue here. The judge set Peterson's bond at $100,000, a decision that disappointed Leland. If you look at it, 100 grand, it's, and if you do the 10% of it, it's 10 grand. Uh, that's not even half of uh, each case cost. Peterson will be released on the conditions he wears a GPS monitor and no longer practices adoption law. Scott Williams and Kurt Altman are representing Peterson. Williams is from Utah and Altman is from Arizona, the two other states where Peterson faces similar charges. Frankly, it's difficult to defend a case and prepare for to defend a case like this when your client's in custody. He's going to be at home. He's going to be in Phoenix, where I am, where uh, Scott can come back and forth really easily, and we can have contact with him. So we're happy. Leland says she has no words for Peterson, but wanted to give this message to the community. Our interest is protecting our families, and I think our families have been preyed on for too long. This needs to stop. Peterson's lawyers are expecting him to be back in Arizona tomorrow. Peterson is expected to be back in Washington County for his trial, which is scheduled to begin December 9th. In studio, Crystal Martinez, Fox 24 News.